Poor weather, cloudy outside, and by the looks of things behind you there, Lonnie, rainy too. Yeah, it's, uh, well, this is uh, up at the observation deck in the top of the Empire State Building, which I don't know how much that ticket's worth today. Uh, you can, well, you see, there's, there's the windshield wiper. You can't see anything because we do have low clouds out there. And yeah, you see the raindrops there, KJ. It's more of like a mist that's in the air. Uh, we're coming in with a temperature of 64 degrees. I mean, we didn't do much with temperatures today. The best we could do was 67. At 541 in the morning, we should be in the lower 80s. Nope. Cloud cover, that easterly wind kept us on the cool side. In terms of the wet weather, two things I want to talk about. There's right now a steady channel of rain over Long Island. I'll show it to you in just a moment. Then there's another channel of rain, and this has got severe storms in it in Pennsylvania. But in between, the bulk of our area just kind of damp, sort of clammy out there, and cloudy overhead. I do want to talk about the latest trend for your day tomorrow. I, I definitely have a rain chance in there for Thursday, but earlier clearing than we initially saw, and it is going to set the table for a better look in Friday, Saturday, Sunday. There's that first channel of rain we talked about, and we did have one lone heavy bout of rain come right over the Long Island Expressway, but now it's kind of faded away, so it's just some light rain out on Long Island. Bigger picture will show you where that second line of showers and storms, and these are severe storms in Pennsylvania. All of this is basically going to move to the south with some, some way, shape, or form, sort of the southwest, if you will. So this moves down like that. All right, and then we do better tomorrow. Here's how things are going to be playing out. The chance for finding severe weather, remember I just showed it to you it's into Pennsylvania? Well, you've got to go inland to find that risk for severe storms. In our area, for tonight, we just don't see it. The bulk of the area, not even at a risk for thunderstorms, if there's any kind of a thunderstorm west of New York City, really, I'm talking like our northwest suburbs, maybe it's just a general garden variety thunderstorm that could pop up. They'd be very isolated in our area. Again, we're being helped by the cooler temperatures and that wind coming in off the water. Then you're going to get to the weekend. And right now we've changed the forecast. Yesterday I took the rain chances out. Today I'm bumping the temperatures up. So Saturday's 88. Sunday 87. You can't rule out a 90, but we're not going to be tapping in to that 95 or that 100 degree range that we see in the midsection of the country right now. But it looks like a good beach weekend out there. Any rain chances on Sunday would be late. So across the board, 74 for your day tomorrow. Uh, yes, there is definitely a chance for you know, some leftover rain, but overall a bit better into the afternoon. 81 on Friday. We're back in business with a very slow Light, scant chance at a bit of rain. Saturday, 88. Sunday, 87. We talked about that. And the rain chance develops Sunday, maybe lingering into Monday at 79. Tuesday, Wednesday look pretty darn nice. So some new changed information for that weekend forecast. I think you would get, get your stuff ready and head to the beaches, my yeah, friends. Yeah, good news. Thank Excellent you. Excellent idea. All right. Well,